Hey, it's Mike with Mike's Tutorials. And in this video, I'm just gonna briefly show off um, one I think really cool feature of iCloud and that's iCloud Photo Library. This was introduced with Yosemite on the Mac and with iOS 8, I believe, um, for iPhone and iPad. And it's just a really nice way, handy way to synchronize your photos across your phone, iPad, and Mac. And it's also a way to save storage space. So let's dive in. I'll show you what iCloud Photo Library does. So before there was iCloud Photo Library, um, you kind of you would tend to use your Mac or your PC as as the place where all your photos were kept, and then you might um, um, shoot a bunch of photos on your phone, and then those would get imported into like iPhoto on your Mac or onto your PC, and then um, uh, you might end up running out of space on your phone, and then you've got to delete some off your phone. Uh, but you got to make sure they're on your Mac, and then sometimes you sync some of them back through iTunes. It's a fairly complicated process. iCloud Photo Library kind of solves all that by just creating a single unified library. Um, and it's pretty handy because it just means you have all your photos on all of your devices and um, your edits sync. So let me show you how to turn it on, and then I'll address maybe some of your questions that I usually get about, um, about this feature. So the first step... Um, that you have to do is you have to enable iCloud Photo Library on all of your devices. That's where you really get the best benefit if you turn it on everywhere. If you only turn it on one, that doesn't really make sense. It's not going to sync with your other devices. So um, there's two spots where you can turn it on. I'll show you on the Mac. You go into Photos, and then you go into the Photos Preferences, and in the iCloud tab, you check this box, iCloud Photo Library. Um, on the iPhone, you go into settings and then you can go to iCloud and then photos and make sure iCloud photo library is on. And, uh, same on the iPad, you go into iCloud settings. You can also go to photo settings to turn it on. Um, now, a uh, key thing to talk about here is this option here, download originals to this Mac, and on the iPhone it says optimize iPhone storage or download and keep originals. This is a really nice sort of secondary benefit of iCloud Photo Library, and it's great if you constantly are running out of space on your iPhone or your iPad because you're taking a lot of photos or videos. It also syncs videos. So, um, uh, you have two options here on the Mac. You can say download originals to this Mac, or you can say optimize Mac storage. So what that means, um, when you turn on iCloud Photo Library, it's going to upload all the photos and videos that are in photos. Um, it's going to upload the originals, so uh, original high resolution um, photos and videos. Now you can choose to say um, on the Mac either keep the originals on the Mac, um, or you can set it to optimize Mac storage. So if you're running low on space on your Mac, if you set it to optimize, it means it will store the full resolution in iCloud. And if you have enough storage space, it will keep the ori originals. If you run low on storage, then you can um, choose this option and it will actually delete the high resolution originals from your Mac and replace it with a lower resolution version and you can always download the high resolution version on the mac we usually have enough storage space to keep our photos i tend to recommend keep download originals to this mac on i also am not fully 100 percent on board with trusting apple with all of my photos i'd like i want to keep a copy of all my photos so i say download originals to this mac but on the phone i choose optimize iphone storage uh, most people don't have, uh, often you're not going to have enough room on your phone to store all of your originals. So keep it optimized. And then you have all your same photos. Um, they're all kept exactly in the same order. Uh, and um, so if I go down to the bottom here, yeah, you can see the exact same photos. If I delete a photo off one, so if I delete, here's a here's a screenshot that I took from some kind of silly game. If I delete it off my Mac, um, it's going to go away from there. And then within, um, I don't know, sometimes it takes a minute or so, it will disappear from the phone as well. 
Um, if you do delete a photo accidentally, you can always get it from, there it goes away on my phone. You can always get it from uh, recently deleted. There's also, so I could delete it off my phone. I just deleted this other screenshot from my watch. So this photo should disappear um, within a few seconds on my Mac as well. Everything stays in sync. Your albums, there it goes. Your albums, the photos, edits that you make, if you crop an image, um, it all stays in sync. Um, so any downsides? The main downside is uh, cost. Apple gives us five gigabytes of free iCloud storage, and that is usually not enough to hold all your photos. Um, so you very likely will have to upgrade because the storage does count against your iCloud storage. Um, as of this recording, it's you get 50 gigabytes for 99 cents a month. You get 200 gigabytes for 2.99 a month, three dollars a month. Um, that's the plan that I'm on. That's usually enough for most people. They also sell a terabyte plan and they change the plans uh, just about every year. So it's likely that they'll be giving more storage away um, in the future. So that's a brief uh, nuts and bolts on iCloud Photo Library. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, I want to know what you think about this video. Please like, share, uh, leave comment, all that good stuff. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.